Welcome to our lecture online. So here, let's try our first example. And notice the words, be careful, for a number of reasons. First of all, we always must make sure that we check the final answer to see if it's indeed valid. And again, solving an equation means we're looking for the value of x that make the left side equal to the right side. So what we want to do is follow our standard procedure. We want to separate all the radicals from everything else, which means the 10 will go to the right side of the equation. So we end up with the square root of 2x plus 5 is equal to 4 minus 10, or the square root of 2x plus 5 is equal to a minus 6. Here, we should take note. How can the square root of something equal a negative number regardless of the value of x? It doesn't matter. There's no way I can plug in any value for x that will make the square root of this quantity right here equal to a negative number. So here we can simply say there is no solution. But let's say we didn't notice that and we continue, we continue with the problem. So the next thing to do would be to, to square both sides of the equation. So we're going to square the left side and we're going to square the right side. So here we end up with 2x plus 5 is equal to 36 move the 5 across, we get 2x is equal to 36 minus 5, which is 31, or x equals 31 divided by 2. But we don't know yet if that's the answer, we first must check. So let's do a check on that to see if this is indeed the case. Now we should have a hint already that since we knew that the square root of something cannot equal a negative number, that is probably not a valid solution. How do we figure that out? We plug that back into the original equation. So we take the original equation, and instead of x, we're going to write 31 divided by 2. So here we have the square root of 2 times 31 divided by 2 plus 5 plus 10 equals 4. Since the 2's cancel, we get the square root of 31 plus 5 plus 10 equals 4. And then here we have the square root of 36 plus 10 equals 4. Now the square root of 36 by definition is equal to 6, so we get 6 plus 10 equals 4, and so we get 16 equals 4, which of course cannot be the case. Since that cannot be the case, therefore our solution is not valid. Now of course we could have put in little question marks here, which is probably a good thing to do, because after all, we don't know if it's equal, we're trying to check to see if it's equal, so it's not a bad idea to put little question marks there, just to say we're just checking, we don't know, and finally we end up with something like this, you realize your answer was not valid, and if it's not valid, therefore the proper answer is that there's no solution to that particular equation. Now, of course, over here, we end up, when we ended up with the square root of 2x plus 5 being equal to a negative number. There we go. That is a big red flag, as we call it, a warning that that is not possible. There's no such thing as a square root of a number being equal to negative 6, regardless of what that number is. Of course, unless we're dealing with imaginary numbers, but that's not the case over here. There, that's is how it's done.